What's up everyone, Ninth Jim here, back with another VGC 2020 Pokemon Sword and Shield competitive video. Today we're talking about Galarian Rapidash, Galarian Rapidash, Rapidash hyphen Galar, however you want to say it. It's a pretty cool Pokemon, honestly. Its worst feature is the fact that its ability kind of sucks. Other than that, it's pretty solid across the board. Uh, cool offensive typing, you know, okay for uh, defense, but you know cool for offense you know you have a lot of uh, good attacks like multiple good stab moves and then uh, we also have really solid stats across the board um, especially the ones that we really go into they're very solid base stats as well as just in general with investments they become really really solid this pokemon also has access to a lot of really good max moves and it's a really cool pokemon in general so let's go ahead and talk about it so psychic fairy typing is admittedly not the best but it's okay. It's pretty solid. It provides us one immunity against dragon typing, which is very, very good having that dragon immunity. You can switch this in pretty uh, easily against certain things, you know, Dragapult. Although Phantom Force and Max, uh, whatever the ghost move is, Max Scaria, um, is pretty big against this Pokemon. So you don't want to, you know, be too careless with it. Um, and then we also have two resistances here, Fighting and Psychic, not too bad in general. And then we also have weaknesses to Poison, Ghost, and Steel. Not the worst, you know, Ghost and Steel are very big in the game. Poison's not huge. We have things like, you know, Venusaur having, um, you know, Sludge Bomb or something. And then maybe a couple other Pokemon using Poison typing, but that's it. Um, but Ghost and Steel are very big in the game. So we do have, you know, a lot of things to worry about with this Pokemon. As far as our stats go, we have 65 HP, which is pretty, like, you know, under a, a little bit below average and not great. But, you know, with uh, potentially going in, investing on defense and HP, and Assault Vest and Dynamax, you have a lot of ways to kind of supplement that a little bit, which is really good. We also have Attack at 100, which is awesome. Uh, we'll go talk about the defense ones first, though. Uh, special Defense and Defense. Defense at 70, Special Defense at 80, HP at 65. Not super bulky, but can take a couple of hits. You know, both uh, Defense and Special Defense are very average. Same with HP. All across the board, just pretty average of a Pokemon. And then we have our Attack and Speed. Attack at 100 and Speed at 105. Both are very solid and with investments in Life Orb and Stab. You have a lot of buffs and, and a lot of really good stuff that you can do with this Pokemon. It even gets Swords Dance, so you can Swords Dance and then attack um, really fast and re hit really hard. So that's really good. Um, we have our ability Pastel Veil. Honestly, it's not that good. Protects the Pokemon and ally Pokemon from being poisoned. Like, yeah, whatever. You know, that's probably not going to happen too frequently anyway. You know, it's cool. You know, you can't get toxic. But there's like no toxic now. So, oh well. Um, yeah, Galarian Rapidash is pretty cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the build itself. So as far as the build goes, uh, the ability is Pastel Veil. The only other ability we get, what, what even is the other ability? Uh, anticipation, like whatever, and then run away, but that literally does nothing um, in VGC. So either way, you know, no matter what ability you go with, it doesn't really have much use, but you know, Pastel Veil, you can't get poisoned. It's, it's cool. Um, anyway, so item, we have Life Orb for this build. There is a bunch of items that you can use. We have Assault Vest as another option. Uh, if you want to, you can invest into HP and then go with Assault Vest. You can be a very defensive Pokemon, a really, really solid Dynamax, and uh, kill a lot of things really quickly. And that's another option as well. And also, you can go with uh, the Weakness Policy, being able to do a lot of damage. We have um, all of our Calcs are... With Swords Dance implemented, um, we have both ways, like without Swords Dance and with Swords Dance against a, certain, a bunch of certain matchups. But Weakness Policy does the same as Swords Dance, and it pushes us into range to take a lot of really good Dynamax Okos against a lot of really strong and very, uh, you know, played Pokemon in the meta. So Weakness Policy is a definitely a good way of doing that as well. Although we don't have too many great ways of um, activating it. You know, maybe we have like, uh, like Bullet Punch from... Our Hitmon top, our, an Intimidate Hitmon top, or something that that could be cool. Um, but other than that, you know, I really like Life Orb. Just get, having that constant 1.3 times damage is very solid. Next, we have our moves here. Oh, and uh, Choice Band was the last one, and Choice Scarf. Both of those could be good options, but then you're kind of restricting yourself to not Dynamax. And Life Orb really likes, um, you know, Dynamax or non Dynamax, and I like having that, you know, option that. Um, versatility of, of the life orb anyway for our moves we have play rough and psycho cut for our stab physical attacking moves there are other moves that you can use you could use zen headbutt instead of the psycho cut but honestly there's no um, real 
different kind of move for play rough you know that's pretty much the best fairy um stab physical move um that we have and, and that you can use so that's definitely the option play rough is is the move and then we also have psycho cut which is just very good it has a high crit ratio it's very similar to like drill run um and moves of the sort it has a high crit ratio it also does a good bit of damage hitting a crit is like insane um so yeah it's cool I like high horsepower. Next, we have Swords Dance as well. Being our last attack here, it gives us max guard when we Dynamax, and it also gives us that insane damage output, like I was saying. You Swords Dance with this Pokemon, you know, you can use Follow Me or something on your uh, as your partner Pokemon. Set up Swords Dance for free. Next turn, go Dynamax and just kill everything. That's kind of the way that we would want to play this Pokemon. Next, we have some uh, other moves here, some flex moves. We have Throat Chop, Low Kick, and Iron Tail, all for coverage, as well as Iron Tail being able to turn into Max Steel Spike when you Dynamax, which is very good. Low Kick being able to turn into the Max Knuckle, being able to uh, attack you to raise your attack stat, which is very good. We also have Wild Charge that I forgot to put in here, but Wild Charge is another great option, uh, especially since you can set up Electric Terrain and make, your, make it so your opponent can't attack. Uh, make it so your opponent can't sleep you, not attack. Why did I say that? Anyway, so, yeah, a bunch of good moves here um, in general. Next, we have our stats and EVs. So, attack 100, um, or uh, that's our base attack. Our EVs, we're just, it's very basic. We're just going 252 into attack and 252 into speed, just making it do as much damage as possible and as fast as possible. This Pokemon actually hits a really, really solid speed tier, especially with Jolly Nature. We go plus speed minus special attack since we're not using it anyway. And we just go, we hit 172, which is very solid with speed. Um, 252. I thought this Pokemon was really slow, and then when I looked into it, I was like, oh, this Pokemon's actually really fast, and that's really good. Um, it outspeeds a lot of really strong Pokemon, a lot of really good Pokemon, things that really hurt us, and things that we can just take out in an instant. Very good stuff. I like this Pokemon a lot, actually, now that I've been exploring it, and I think it's pretty solid. Next, we have our Synergetic Pokemon. I... I know what you're thinking. Togekiss and Incineroar, they're the most synergetic Pokemon. Every Pokemon in the world can use them. Yeah, I know. But the reason we can work with them so well is Incineroar really covers all the bases here. It kills all Steel Pokemon. It kills uh, the Poison Pokemon. Uh, not really. It kills the Psychic Pokemon. That's what I meant to say. That doesn't matter. Wait, why would... It's good. It also has Intimidate, Snarl, Will-O-Wisp. It provides a lot of support, making our Galar a lot... Um, just bulkier in general it's very very good the pokemon is very solid and then we have follow me support as well from the togekiss um being the you know main thing about it follow me being able to set up our swords dance and then we could also go with indeedy female it has follow me it also sets uh the psychic terrain so that your psycho cut can be even more powerful that's another option both of those pokemon are very solid um and great options for this team Next, we'll go ahead and talk about our speed tiers. So, as far as our speed tiers go, we're actually very, very good. Let me go ahead and... Bop. There we go. Galarian Rapidash, just so you know where it is. So, Galarian Rapidash, as far as he goes, uh, or she, I guess it's more likely a she, uh, or them, don't assume. Anyway, so 172 um, is very solid. We outspeed a lot of really good Pokemon things like Charizard, Mimikyu, Arcanine, Pikachu, Excadrill, Duraludon, so many great Pokemon that we just outspeed and deal huge, super effective damage to. Um, Charizard, not really, but Mimikyu, uh, not too much, but you know, you get the point. We have really, really good damage against a lot of these Pokemon. Things like the Arcanine and the Pikachu and the Excadrill and the Duraludon. We have high horsepower and max quake. After a sword stance, you're able to Oko all of these Pokemon, even Dynamaxed. It becomes really, really powerful, and especially after a sword stance. I, I know what, another thing that you're thinking. Oh, well, sword stance makes any Pokemon good. Yeah, I know, but that's the best way of playing this Pokemon. Sword stance or with uh, you know weakness policy otherwise its damage output is not insane it's pretty good though it's still great um so yeah either way you can you can do it anyway things that do outspeed us we have durant we have whimsicott inteleon uh dragapult all these scarf pokemon all of these chlorophyll slash swift swim slash unburdened pokemon all of these are really fast pokemon are going to be outspeeding this and there's nothing you can do about it but as far as pokemon that we do outspeed naturally a lot of them there's a huge list of these pokemon things like durant uh can really really put a notch in this pokemon but there's nothing you can do about that you could actually run choice scarf but then you kind of lock yourself into not dynamaxing um and i really like dynamaxing this pokemon i think it's better 
Um, a lot of the time, it's going to be really powerful to do that. Anyway, that's going to be it for our speed tiers. We'll go ahead and talk about some uh, damage calcs here. So, first damage calc we have is against an Incineroar. So, this is Intimidated and Dynamaxed with Life Orb. So, Max Invested, Life Orb, Rapid Ash, Max Quake, minus one from the Intimidate into a pretty defensive Incineroar. Um, really just HP. They're usually, you know, def especially defensive. Um, but into a incineroar hitting 58 to 70 percent guaranteed two hit KOing. however if we are swords danced or weakness policied we have a guaranteed oko here with 131 to 154 percent that's huge we take out incineroars like no like nothing let's go let's kill it next we have our dragapult damage calc into our um galarian rapidash this is a really sad one honestly life orb max phantasm into our rapidash hits 130 to 154 this is really unfortunate however little cute cute little thing here um with intimidate do we do we live we do i think we live um so dragon bolt i'm gonna pull it up real quick item life orb come on life orb so phantom force we actually are in a, in a not not too bad position this is a lot. This is a lot. I should have just uh, not done this. But now I'm like committed. You know? Alright. Boom. It still has a really high chance. But minus one. Oh wait. it's <laughs> That was all in vain. It's going to have clear body. I'm stupid. I should cut that out. But I suck at editing. Anyway. So we're gonna, just going to move one to the next one. Um, Dragapult kills us. Don't, don't think it doesn't. Anyway. Next we have Rapidash. Uh, max quake into an excadrill hitting 65 to 76 percent guaranteed two hit KOing. however with swords dance we hit a 130 to 152 percent if they're not in sandstorm with sand rush we are outspeeding them giving us a guaranteed oko with swords dance if we use the togekiss follow me or indeed turn one to guarantee that swords dance setup and then turn two we just max quake them and kill their excadrill oko their excadrill and they have not no idea what's coming um, and we're in a ha very happy day scenario. Next, we have their Dynamax Max Steel Spike into our Rapidash Galar. If we don't Swords Dance and and hit that 65 to 76 percent, they hit a 109 to 128 percent. They kill us. S sorry, um, that's just happening. That's just how it happens. So you got to Swords Dance, kill Excadrill, or else Excadrill will Exca kill you. That was really dumb. Anyway, so next we have Rapidash Galar max starfall into tyranitar hitting a 53 to 64 percent hitting a guaranteed two hit ko not saying not insane however swords dance hits 107 to 126 percent hitting a guaranteed oko against a dynamax tyranitar bypassing right through that weakness policy very very powerful next is our last damage calc here max phantasm from a mimikyu into our rapidash galar hitting 83 to 98 percent guaranteed two hit KOing. we guarantee live a max phantasm from a mimikyu granted it is not um you know it, it's jolly instead of uh adamant nature also granted there's no life orb a couple of things there i know um but there's a chance we can just live that mimikyu which is really cool next we have our single spotlight this is our last slide and it's um you know single spotlight so rapidash uh galar we are using pastel veil still unfortunately but it doesn't change because it's like from doubles to singles anyway so we're using the item choice scarf just to be super fast we have play rough psycho cut high horsepower and healing wish the first two are stabbed the third is for coverage and healing wish is just uh you know you're about to die boom your healing wish i know it's kind of weird because we're choice scarfed and if you bring this pokemon in um and it's about to die and then you just healing wish maybe it's a cute idea you could change that out for a sword uh swords dance although if you change it for a swords dance you have to change the item as well i don't know I don't know what the best build for singles is. I don't think this Pokemon is too prevalent in singles. However, it's still cool to theory an idea, a little build for singles. But this is just one cute little build that you can try. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Rapidash Galar, Galarian Rapidash, Galarian Rapidash, however you want to say it. It's a pretty cool Pokemon, honestly. I really like it. I think it's really good. Um, it actually is really powerful when you Dynamax it with Weakness Policy, Assault Vest, Life Orb. You can play it very versatility. It has a good move pool. It has a good, um, you know, pretty solid stats. If its ability were better, this Pokemon would be really powerful. But unfortunately, its ability just is not there. It's not very good. So, yeah.
Still a really cool Pokemon. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you like this kind of content, like and subscribe. If you don't like this kind of content, like and subscribe. Either way, just do it. It makes me feel good. And, uh, you know, if you like this kind of content, boom. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening. Have a great day. It's only like 2, so it's I guess it's evening. I guess it's afternoon, not evening. Anyway, have a great afternoon or whatever time zone you're currently in. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great one of those time zones. Goodbye.